Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Uh, and we have something interesting happening here. Everyone, quick! Sin spawn! And immediately we get thrown straight into a boss fight, even though we just had one. Granted, the Ochi was not really a boss fight, that's actually a regular enemy that we'll fight later. Uh, here's the trick. You don't want to fight the main boss first. You want to attack the fins or the, the arms or whatever they are. Ten tentacles, I guess? I don't even know what they're actually called. They're called tentacle. Yep. Nice. Even nicer. Now, they're weak to water, so you want to go ahead and use water spells on them. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's, uh... Oh, they don't have a weakness. I read that wrong. Oh, that was dumb of me. Well, that was a waste. Um, I guess we'll just attack. <laughs> God damn it. That was so stupid, man. Now, uh, let's bring Kamari in, actually, and we'll have him do an attack. Here's the thing, you don't want to attack this guy until you've gotten rid of the tentacles, because then he'll, like, open up from his shell. And when he does that, then he'll actually be vulnerable. So, uh, we'll bring Lulu back in here, and we will have her cast fire this time and see if that does anything. Okay, well, it did some damage. At least it didn't heal him. <laughs> Ooh, look at you! Never mind. Oh, okay. Rock. My sword's no good. Well, I mean, you actually did do some damage. I wouldn't say your sword's no good. 450, though. That's 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 no joke. Now, this thing only has 3,000 HP, so it's not particularly strong. It's weak to fire, so we're gonna make sure to get Lulu here involved pretty heavily. Um, let's cure Lulu, though, just to be safe. Ah, oh. <laughs> great. That's okay, I'll still go ahead and cast fire. I want to get him relatively close enough to where I can summon an Aeon and it won't totally, it won't totally suck. Um, actually, this is a really good opportunity to show you Haste as well. We'll go ahead and put Haste on Lulu here. So Haste basically increases the speed. That That's effectively all that it does um, of like a character. So they'll be able to do more attacks much quicker. And now she doesn't have the, uh, the poison on her, so she won't get hurt every time she uses a fire spell. And she gets another turn. As you can see, it, it makes a difference. I used the wrong spell again, didn't I? God damn it. That's okay. Uh, we'll just go ahead and summon. Oh no, my battery! Oh, one trip to the store later. Ugh! Alright, sorry about that. Um... Hold on. I, I should plug my controller in real quick. Oh, I don't even have an extra USB slot open! Uh... Crap, Ola. <laughs> I might have to charge this in a few seconds then. Um... Fine, we'll just attack for now. <laughs> oh my god, that was quite the hit. Ow. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and boost. So I want to get the overdrive. We'll boost one more time. Because I don't think this guy's going to kill us before we get there. 
I, I could be wrong, but we'll try it one more time here. Hey, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and do Energy Blast on him. And this should overkill him. I would think, anyway. I wasn't even paying attention. I don't know if that actually got an overkill or not. Break you in a little slower. B being a guardian's tiring. You handle yourself pretty well. You got talent. Nah. So, <laughs> what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle. I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. And we got a pretty good number of spheres here, actually, so... Rod of Darkness. I don't actually know if I've ever gotten that before, now that I think about it. What does that even do? Dark Tut. That's not such a bad weapon, but I'm going to keep with the Rod of Wisdom because having all that extra uh, magic, you know, that that extra 8%, that, that's pretty incredible this early in the game. So, uh, they got fiends in Xanarkand too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Uh, hey, since one of you believe me about Xanarkand anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chaku's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. I... That was kind I of harsh. Never what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. I agree. Let's, uh, let's not dive into a past that we probably don't care about. I always thought this temple looked a little ugly, honestly. There's not really much that we can do here. You here to pray for victory too? Us pray? Who needs to pray? The Luka goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time, we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. 
Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals. We'll beat them. We have to. You know that, team? Putting people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jekt. <sighs> Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. Nah. I've always wondered what he said there, because we never really got like a... I don't know, like an answer to what he was saying there? I don't know. More and more cutscenes. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. A summoner, are you? My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these Martello's people eyes. are your guardians. I just noticed. <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy. And an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Portella, we're leaving. Guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? She doesn't even look like she's smiling, though. I've always questioned that. Like, uh, on the older PS2 graphi graphics, maybe it kind of did look like she was smiling, but definitely not in that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it quits for this episode. Sorry it's a little bit short, but this is actually the best stopping point that we have for right now. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell icon, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Catch you guys next time.